Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel of the Gaming Dads community. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this one. This is free to play for you guys out there now. This is Crossout. So without further ado, let's get it on, shall we? Okay, so Crossout. Now, I know this game has been out for a little while, but this is a free-to-play game. So for all those people out there who don't have a lot of money like myself, this game is one of those ideal situations. Alright, so first off, Crossout is basically a bit of a grindy game. Now, you're going to be playing this game for a really long time, so get comfortable, be happy, but design what you like. The best part about Crossout is that literally you're only limited by your imagination when it comes to what you want to drive around in. Now, if you do play this game to start with, it does... It is a little bit basic you get given a shell of a car you get given the basic weaponry and you basically get told to just have fun and enjoy yourself as you go through this game you're going to be looking at joining a faction you're going to be looking at unlocking a load of stuff now this menu here this is new since i last played this so there are challenge modes now which basically give you a resource that you can then use that resource to buy stuff for your vehicles or for the creation part of it all the best part is that it's all completely free you don't have to spend any money on this game so it is that's the reason why it's a bit grindy this game combines the combat factor of mad max followed by your imagination of what you you wish to destroy people with a vast amount of weaponry but it is a slog to get hold of it now if you do wish to take a shortcut and actually put money into it it does get a bit expensive but the gun the guns are worth it if you're going to be here for the long run now if you don't wish to design your own car and you've got an abundance of parts whilst you've been playing this game you've been accumulating you can download some of these now some of these cars do take quite a lot of like resources so you are going to be looking at basically playing this game for a while before you can build anything like what you see on the screen what does cross out do for you Crossout is basically a, P a PvP team deathmatch game set in the apocalyptic wastelands of our future where resources are hard to get hold of. If this is sounding familiar, you've seen Mad Max, right? This is literally Mad Max as a computer game, but not called Mad Max. As you can see on the screen, this is my storage area. This is where I keep all my parts. This is where I keep all my bits and pieces for the cars and weapons and all my resources as I was building up through the game. I haven't played this for a while, but the reason why I'm re-reviewing it is because so much has been added to it, I didn't see why not. And at the end of the day, going through games like this over time, you're seeing the evolution of something that's been progressed whilst you haven't even been around. Now, I don't have a lot of time to play games like this and other things at the same time, so I just came back for a quick look and I looked into playing the game as well. The handling seems like it's upgraded. There are brand new levels as well, and this whole screen is basically all the factions you can join. Each faction comes with its own customization. As you're going through the factions and leveling them up, you're able to unlock their parts for their cars. So you can make specially designed cars from this faction. Each faction comes with its own customization. Each faction comes with its own workbench. And the workbenches let you basically have access to stuff that they are going to provide to build for you. You just have to have the parts. Now, when you've got the parts and you're doing all of this and you're building your own stuff, as said, it takes a very long time. You can upgrade your car as much as you feel like. Now, I've turned my car into a truck. I've turned it into a hovercraft. I turned it into a tank. I've done quite a lot of customization on this, but I actually found playing in the lower level areas I actually enjoyed more often than having like a really big armored vehicle that wouldn't move very often. But then I was playing more light weaponry and light cars like the one you're seeing on the screen. I just enjoyed running around the desert in one like this. Now what I should have done is basically made it a little bit longer so I can add a bit more armor, but you're, sp you're basically limited by your power supply. The power supply is basically your level for going into a fight. Now if you've got a really high power supply and you've got a very small car, you're going to get decimated by the guys that have added like giant turrets, giant guns and just giant everything. Things that have got a lot more power on their weaponry than you have in your entire vehicle. So start small and work your way up. Now there are people on the actual game that have actually designed light vehicles for basic beginner users or there are the more advanced users as you go through. Now, basically, as said, you're only limited by your imagination so it's actually not that bad of a game. You don't have to spend a hell of a lot of time playing this game you know, in one big sitting, you can do it over a space of time. As said, start small, you'll be happy. Now you're probably looking at about, I don't know, 
maybe 20, 30 hours before you start getting a decent amount of stuff. Now, I know some of you are limited for time and I've taken that into consideration as well. So you can sort of cheat by buying some of the more basic packs. I think one of the beginner packs starts off at about $19.99 and I think there's one even cheaper than that. So keep an eye on that, but this game, to be fair, for a freebie, is perfectly fine. Now, when you are playing online, you are going to be playing against bots as well. Reason for it is that they're just there to fill the numbers up until people start joining the lobby. This game still has a really, really active community across all platforms. You can even go onto their forum and check that out because at the end of the day, their forum does have ideas for builds, it has ideas for everything else, and there is a ton of information on there of what they're going to be doing later on in later, further on patches. So the game is still active, it is still moving forwards, and they're very, very progressive when it comes to crossout. When this game first started, the development phase, I was in this in the beta, and to be fair, really enjoyed it. I played this for months and months and months on end with a, a small group of people because we were the only people in the game. And then we all became friends, and then we basically started taking on clans online. It was a good laugh at the time. This game is one of those that you would either play with your friends, or you could, have a, you could probably get hold of a couple of other people and just enjoy this. As said, it's completely free, there's no ties to it, and you can play it as much as you like. Matches don't last too long, so if you're if you're tight for time, it's ideal. You play a couple of matches, you've probably wasted about 15 minutes, and then you probably have to feed a baby. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Steel of the Gaming Dads community page. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button for all other updates we'll be doing here. I'm going to be trying to enjoy the, uh, the community a little bit more. If you want to come and check my channel out, that's Hybrid Steel, down in the description box below, the first link will take you to my channel, where I do gaming reviews and live streams. If you guys want to come and join me, have a chat whilst I'm dying profusely on Apex Legends or any other game I'm playing you're more than welcome to join me the next link below which is the gaming dads community website where you can pick up cool merchandise like this just hit that link and come and join us could be part of the fold your legends in game but your heroes are home thank you very much for joining me until the next video peace out have fun and enjoy everything you guys do bye bye